Resources are important for everyone. The world's mines produce minerals needed for laptops, snow machines, and everything in between. The Amarok Whale Tail Project is adding seven more years to Meadowbank's mine life. Back River and Chitliak are advancing projects and could become new mines. And others are on the horizon. Exploration and mining creates thousands of high-paying jobs and lets Nunavut men live at home and fly to work. Nunavut has a proud history of exploration and mining. Centuries ago, Inuit used copper to make tools, ulus, knives, ice picks, gaff hooks, and harpoon heads. Metals were used to make the tools needed for day-to-day -day living and for trading for other materials. Polaris, Nanasivik, Lupin, Amat Jericho. To keep this tradition alive, the Inuit, through their land claim agreement, have selected lands with mineral potential to generate benefits for communities. Exploration is the first part of the mining cycle. Only one in 1,000 projects become a mine. Government support is important. Welcoming exploration helps investment, which can one day help find a mine. By mapping the rock types, our information can be used to help the mineral industry, the mining companies, determine where or where not they might find some mineral resources. It's a deposit economic to mine. To find out, an extensive list of details are collected. Feasibility looks at all these factors to determine if the deposit will be profitable to mine. Before you can do any prospecting, you first need a prospecting license you can get from Government of Canada. And before you can get on Inuit own land, you need an access permit from Inuit own lands, regional Inuit association that manages the surface. And on Crown land, you don't need a permit. Once you identify a potential good commodity, for example gold, you could stake an area claiming that you found that, so you could use that to sell to the companies that have interest in the commodity that you found. About 30% of the north is off limits to exploration due to parks, certain nature preserves and land use plans. Nunavut's environmental assessment process is robust and arose from the Nunavut Land Claim Agreement and involves gathering scientific and community traditional knowledge, minimizing effects on the environment, providing opportunities for public participation and reducing the risks that the mine will harm the environment. 
Building some mines can cost one billion or more. Most of this money needs to be spent before a dollar is made from selling minerals. Hundreds of people are needed to build a mine. Skilled construction workers, general laborers, workers with specialized skills, and many different types of tradespeople and support staff. With the mine built, it now transitions to a stage called operations. This is the only phase during which a company can make money. This phase means huge employment and business opportunities. Mines hire and train local workers. Workers live at home and are flown to work where comfortable camps and good food awaits. Mines operate for many years, some for many decades. Open pit mining occurs on surface. Often an open pit has a circular shape and is made up of levels known as benches. Open pit mining involves drilling, blasting, and hauling ore for processing. Underground mining also includes these steps, but there are many different types of underground mining methods. Throughout mining, waste rock around the ore body and waste rock from processing are both managed to protect the environment. Every modern mine includes work to protect the environment and ensure the health and safety of the workers. All modern mines have closure plans and money set aside to pay for closure process. Successful closure is the final step in the mining cycle. This includes monitoring the site, removing buildings and equipment, monitoring the environment, revegetation, working with communities and companies, and returning the land as close as possible to its original condition. Every mine closes, but the benefits last long after closure. They include skills gains and social, economic, and business investments, supporting communities through things like donations, sponsorships, and scholarships. Nunavut's mineral industry is growing and it offers many benefits like challenging and exciting jobs.